All right, guys, welcome back to FS19. Right, we are back on the farm today. And if you notice, look up there in the right hand corner of my screen. You see that little money symbol? And you see all them numbers right there to the right of it? All right, so we did a thing. Uh, we had one of the neighbors come by. He liked this piece of property. One, because there's a main highway right here, and I better watch what I'm doing. I get run over. There's a main highway right there, and he said that he wanted to uh, start his own business. He said he was a full-time mechanic working for the Ford dealership. Uh, but he wanted to branch off on his own and grow his business. So he purchased a piece of our property, and he asked that if we would help him start his business. And he knew that we were one of the bigger farms around here, and he said, I'll service all your stuff for free, starting out you know keeping everything together i said look man you don't need to do that i said i'll cut you a great deal on this piece of property and then you can set it up so let me hop in the, in the gator and i'm gonna ride over there and we're gonna just show you his little piece of property that he purchased let me drop this uh, trailer off right here we're gonna ride over to his piece of property right quick all right so right out here this guy he is already hired out three workers and he has built him a house and he has a couple sheds out here and he's got a shop and we like to come out here and check on him every now and then just to see you know how he's doing and whatnot uh, he's in there working in the office I'm not really gonna bother him and it is close to uh, actually it is they leave here at three so I'm not sure where everybody is right now but he's man he got it good he got him a semi he got him a rollback man he got him a shop truck out here looks like he's got him a nice f450 here he's got some trailers back here man he's got this whole place set up and here's everybody's working station he got two working stations for his employees and they can come in here and they can work i think these lifts actually work yep they do so they can get it they put whatever they want on the lifts and man and all of that he's even got him a nice service truck right here this dude man he got it all fixed up now i don't know i think these are his workers vehicles uh they drive these he's actually got yeah he's got three employees and here's his personal truck man he's driving around an f-150 he said what they done was at the uh ford dealership is they gave him this truck this was going to be his truck now the only thing is bad it is uh he had to use this to run parts all over the county and all over the state and sometimes even down to georgia and um texas to pick up parts and stuff for the ford dealership uh but they gave him a truck so you know that'd be worth it i think he worked there for 15 years if i'm not mistaken and he wanted to start his own business he had i think he had about three million dollars uh, squirreled away and uh, he's got his own business set up man he's got him a nice shed down here basically he hired out some contractors and they come out here and they build all this and this has been in the works for quite a while it's been in the works since i started the series uh but now it's finally complete and it is done looks like he's got an old junker back here he's gonna try to fix up man so yeah he doesn't have a lot of business right now but we're definitely going to uh to give him some business for sure this is like the main shop right here so he's got like an engine lift over here he's got a nice tool bench and all of that back here man he's got got storage upstairs he's got him a nice roll back here man this roll back i'm sure set him back a good 50 or 60 thousand dollars and then he's got another lift right here and uh, man it goes up and down he's got a nice little station over here looks like he's drinking on the job man he got it all made son i tell you what this boy's got it good looks like these are some projects he's done in the past he's got uh looks like that was his truck at one time hauling the animals around and a couple classics there whoops and uh got a nice f-350 there a good gravy got an old dump truck right here look at this boys this is pretty neat right here so he's got him a nice he got a whole nice setup here and then 
got his office man i ain't gonna go in there i ain't gonna bother him or anything i'm just coming in to check it out we can look through the window here oh he ain't even at his desk look at the honor so he just chilling in there i guess maybe he's on lunch i don't know maybe he's getting ready to close up shop who knows but he, he said that if we had anything problem in the fields while we were working you know he would bring up his uh he'd bring up his service truck or his other truck over there and he'd come pick us up man he's got some he got a nice shed back here too boy look at this he stored uh, four different things in here you know big old equipment too like semis and whatnot so whatever he's working on man he can store it up nicely in there uh got some lights on his building put up some lights man he got it he got it figured out son i like this so and it's nice because it's gonna be local too so if something happens you know just radio him up say hey man you know come on bring one of you guys down here pick up this combine or pick up this implement man it ain't working right you know or come down here and check it out so it's gonna be nice to uh have him right there doing that with us but uh but anyway, we got to get started. I thought that would be uh, something cool to show right here to begin with. The old young man come in here, you know, and start up his own business. Be pretty cool. But uh, but we're gonna get over here and we're gonna get started on the farm. We got uh, we got some plans for today. I gotta get back over to the house. We got to, uh, we got to do the horses, of course. Looks like their oats are going down, so we'll have to bring them another thing of oats. And uh, hopefully, by today, I can give them the uh, straw that they need. So we'll be doing that for sure. Now let me know if you guys are okay with this new recording software it's a little bit new to me uh but it works a whole lot better than what i had what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go over here to my uh bin to my storage and i'm gonna grab some oats and we're gonna go feed the uh feed the horses right quick and then uh i'm gonna have to take some of that money that old boy gave me let's pull up here a little bit uh we're gonna do some oat fill that baby up uh, 2,000 liters in this thing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that money that old boy gave me and uh, we're going to buy us a, uh, a straw blower I think that's what it's called alright let's go ahead and dump this in here hopefully take all of it let me, let me back this in here alright let's pull out of here really quick now what I was talking about is the uh you see right here how this is open well when it rained the other day it blew in here and some of the bales were getting wet so this one over here was closed but i went ahead and took them out of here because this old barn it ain't it ain't what it used to be so uh, this thing yeah it's been out here for a while and uh we may uh we may tear it down i don't know yet I do kind of like it though. It, it kind of gives that old western feel, you know what I mean? All right, maybe I can put some bales in here. As long as it don't go through the, uh, the truck here. We already got a bale over, so this should be okay. Alright, we're going to take this over to the, uh, to the horse area. But before I go over, I want to get one of them. Get out of here, birds. I want to get one of them uh, straw blowers and uh, we want to put some straw I don't know what this don't have a PTO yeah it does no it don't I don't have a P that's a uh, that's a trailer trailer harness you may see what the, I think it's a silo king if I'm not mistaken this is what I want drop the bucket off right here Ooh. Uh, one thing else I got to tell you guys, we got a new Z mower, so I'll have to show you that here in just a minute. It says it's a John Deere, but it's not, clearly. It's either a country, country clipper or a gravelly. I'm not really sure uh, what it is, but it's red and black, so 
I would say it's probably a gravelly because that's their colors. It could be a Massey Ferguson, but I've never seen a Massey Ferguson Z-turn. It would be cool to have a Massey Ferguson Z-turn, but I have never seen one, so I can't say that's what it is. All right, let's lift this up. Kind of smack the uh, thing here. All right, let's pull in here. Can I get it? There we go. I probably should put a weight on this tractor, but I feel like it's back heavy enough to hold this. At least long enough for me to move this bale in here. Alright, how are you going to take this? Just like that. Alright, beautiful. I think this is where it goes. I'm not, here we go. There you go, horses. I don't know how long that bale's going to last. Alright, that will seem to work a little better. Is this gate open? So that's kind of nice. Watch out, horsies. Oh, shoot. That gate opens too. I did not know that. Just drop this off here. And we got to water them really quick. Drink it up, horses. Alright. We probably should get the 8820 out for harvesting but I tell you what I'd like to do wonder what the trade-in value is on this tractor so 20 grand to that would be 270 all right let's take a look at harvesters because I want to upgrade so this would be 285 so that would be 15 grand more than what we would have um, so that would not be sufficient now we could go I'd like to get this one this this one is a beast of a harvester let's sell it let's go for gold here this one here would probably be the best uh, I don't know about tracks, wide tires, standard. We'll probably go standard. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll go standard. 625 horsepower. She holds 14,000 bushels. I don't know what bushel. I don't know liters, bushels. I don't know what they are. If anybody knows how much liters is in a bushel, please let me know. Because I don't know. Drapers. Okay, so that one's 89 grand. Let me find my draper that I have right now. So it was only go for uh, $4,500. So let's sell this. And we're going to have to borrow some more money so we can do this harvest. So let's borrow. All right, this is a massive draper. This should be fine though. And then let's get the harvester that we need. Combine. And we want to go, yep, we want to go with this one. All right, we're going to do duels here. All right, beautiful. All right, we got $11,000 left, which is okay. Here is the beast. Holy moly. It's an S790. So we just got a brand new combine and we sold our other one and now we are ready to start the oat harvest. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bail uh, this field. Let's see, disable, enable. Okay. I am going to bail this field. All right. I'm going to let a worker get going here. And then when they get full, we will empty them out. Just going to leave this parked right here. We're going to let him get going. And uh, here is the International Workstar dump truck that we are going to be using. And, uh, and hopefully it doesn't get dark on us. All right, guys. So we are now wrapping up the harvest here uh, for this area. I have turned off. Uh, the straw swath 
just because there really ain't a whole lot left to grab uh, in this little section. We're probably just going to bail up. We're either going to bail this or we're going to get one of them uh, loading wagons and we're going to just scoop it up. Not really sure yet what we're going to do. Uh, but this thing, we're about done with the oat harvest on this field. And we still got a little bit of daylight left, so we might we might go to the other field because it uh, I'm not sure when they're supposed to call for rain I wish I had like a weather you know a forecast a 10 day or something that I could look at on here but according to this now uh, it's sunny right now uh, we are rounding up about 6 p.m. or so so it's still a couple more hours of daylight left, which should be plenty to uh, finish up this field and then hopefully start the other field. Got my dump truck back here. I'll go ahead and uh, turn this off. Get our pipe out here. We'll load this a little bit into the uh, dumping truck. Uh, but hopefully we finish up this little bit of field to uh, finish off the night here. We got a little bit left out here on the ends and that'll be the end of that. Right, we'll go ahead and turn it off here. We're just going to leave it here on the field. God, I can't get over how good that thing looks. Alright, so we're in the dump truck now. We're heading down here to uh, empty out the harvester. We're right at 86.60 in our dump bed right now hopefully we can empty this whole harvester without having to go to the grain bin there we go that's going to do it for this episode guys I do want to appreciate you for watching and sticking around watching my videos I definitely appreciate you being here be sure to tune in to tomorrow when we conquer this whole side. I'm not going to do any belling over here because we already got enough bales. Uh, but we are going to get all of these oats up. We are going to put them in a the grain bin. And we are going to be storing them. I do want to turn this to hay and uh, start belling some hay as well. And yes, I do realize I got to ride the horses. I'm probably going to do that off camera because... It's kind of a boring thing to do, just ride around on a horse. But maybe maybe some of you like that kind of thing, you know. So maybe I'll ride a horse in an episode or something. Maybe we'll ride around and explore the map or something. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll definitely do something. Like I say, next video is going to be getting this mode and getting all of the rest of the harvest done. Hopefully I'll have some time and I can do so and we'll get it all knocked out but anyway guys that is gonna wrap this one up so be sure to tune in to the next one and if you like these kind of videos be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already please consider subscribing if you want to see more of this kind of content anyway guys that is going to do it peace